In today's screencast, we're going to talk about how you can install Greek and Hebrew keyboards on your Mac OS X system, so that way you can use these for writing academic papers when you're covering the original languages, as well as use them when doing original language searches in your different Bible study software options. So the first thing we want to do is open our system preferences, so you can do that however you want. I'm going to do mine from the spotlight, uh, so I'm just going to type system preferences. And then within System Preferences, you want to go to Keyboard. And then in Keyboard, you want to go to Input Sources. And from here, you want to click the little plus icon in the bottom left-hand corner. Now, yours may look slightly different depending on which Mac OS X operating system you're using. At the time of this video, this is Mac OS X Yosemite. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and click the plus icon. And from within this, you want to find the option for Greek, because we're going to install a Greek keyboard first. And the particular Greek keyboard that we're going to be interested in installing or adding is Greek Polytonic. This uh, Greek Polytonic is actually going to give you all of the options that you need available to you, such as uh, accent marks and all the letters, both in capital and lowercase, that you're going to need to type in Greek. So we'll go ahead and add that. And as soon as you add that, you're going to notice that it appears over here on the left hand side in this panel. You can select it and it will show you uh, the option for the different keys there. Uh, another thing that we want to make sure that we do as soon as we do this, and this is probably going to automatically default to, is we want to show the input menu in our menu bar. Make sure that you have that selected. Because what, what that's going to do is up here in the top right hand corner, it's going to show you a little flag icon or some icon up here that you can click on to select and move between your different uh, keyboard options of Greek and English. So next we want to add a Hebrew keyboard to our uh, system. Uh, now the Hebrew keyboards that are included natively within Mac OS X are actually not that great. So in order to install a Hebrew keyboard we're going to want to go outside of the uh, typical Mac OS X options. So to do this we're going to need to go online and download a keyboard. So let's go ahead and open your web browser. I'm going to go ahead and open Google Chrome. And within Chrome, let's navigate to the SBL website, or what's called the Society of Biblical Literature's website, and that's www.sbl-site.org. And once we're there, let's go over to Educational Resources, and then click on Biblical Fonts. Within this, notice that you can get all kinds of different biblical fonts. You can get a Greek font, a Hebrew font, as well as some other fonts that are here. What we're going to want to do is click on Hebrew Font. Once we've clicked on Hebrew font, we're going to want to go to the section called Keyboard Drivers, and we're going to want to select the option for SBL Hebrew Keyboard Drivers SIL and Tyro OS 10. As soon as we click that, it'll download uh, that keyboard driver on your computer. We're going to want to click our newly downloaded file to unzip it. And once it's unzipped, we're going to want to double click it to install the keyboard. And we'll just follow our installation instructions. And once it's installed, it'll give you a completed uh, screen. We go ahead and close. Now, when we go back to our system preferences, we can click Add again to add a new keyboard. And now, we're not going to go down to Hebrew. Instead, we're going to go to Others. So make sure you find the option for Others. It should be at the top of your keyboard listings available on the left-hand side. And once we've got Others, we're going to want to select Biblical Hebrew SIL. Now, once again, this Biblical Hebrew SIL keyboard is going to provide you with all of the vowel pointings, consonants, diacritical marks, and accents that you're going to need to uh, do uh, successful uh, typing in Hebrew for academic papers as well as for searching. So once we've selected Biblical Hebrew SIL, go ahead and click Add again. And now we've just added our Biblical Hebrew keyboard. So once we've done that, we can go ahead and close out our program settings. And let's go back up to our keyboard input selector up here in the top right hand corner. And one of the options that's available to you here is that you can actually show a keyboard viewer. So if we go ahead and click that, we can actually see the individual keyboard and what each letter in our keyboard is going to be doing. So if we switch now to Biblical Hebrew, notice what happens. You can actually see all the different Hebrew letters as they're mapped on your current keyboard. If you hold down, let's say, the Shift key, you're going to notice that it changes the keyboard so you can see what happens when you hold down the shift key. 
So this is a way that you can familiarize yourself really quickly with the different uh, Hebrew letterings, as well as if you go to Greek, you can see it in Greek uh, and see what happens when you hold down the different keys on your keyboard to become familiar with this. So this is gonna be really helpful when you're doing your typing in Hebrew or Greek, as well as when you're doing your searching in Hebrew or Greek. Hopefully this was helpful for you. If you like this video, make sure that you give me a like down below. If you haven't subscribed yet to the channel, please do. That way you can get the most up-to-date videos as they get released. And if you'd like to see more videos like this or perhaps other videos, go ahead and leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Hope you have a blessed day today and best of luck in your studies.